Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to match a font from an image. And this is very, very common. You get an image or you get a font from somebody that may be something that you didn't design and uh, you're not sure what font it is. And you know, you don't want to go through the huge list of fonts just going, okay, well is it Balboa, is it Baskerville, is it Baybest Neue or Noya is actually how it's pronounced. Um, you don't want to go through it manually, so there is a way to go ahead and match a font that you see uh, from another image. So let's just get right into this, guys. I've selected some random CAPTCHA style text. Now I'll just state right up front here that this text has been modified a little bit. You'll see that these are not natural. This is kind of like hand drawn ish, you know, modified here. So I did that purposely because I want to show you just how strong this is, how good uh, this uh, th this feature is of Photoshop 2018. So the first step that I recommend is I want to go ahead and create, uh, I want to add in a bit of a crop and I want to create this a little bit bigger. And the reason why I'm just going to go ahead and add some some real estate is because I want to actually write out this here so that you can see that the font is the the feature is actually quite good. So I've just gone ahead and used the crop tool and I've just added a little bit of space just for this demonstration. Um, the next step I'm just going to type out what we see here. So I see a Q, a capital G, P, H, capital J, capital D, and I'm in blue font or blue uh, blue color. I don't know why the heck I've done that, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. I'll just put that down here and yeah let's center it a bit better eh, something like that okay guys so we've got the same thing here we just don't have the right uh, font obviously so here's what you do I'm going to keep this layer selected this is the layer that I typed out and now I'm going to go up to the marquee tool in this case we're gonna use the rectangular marquee tool because we're gonna draw a rectangle around the type here now when I do that Obviously nothing's going to happen, but here's the next step and here's the crucial one. I want to come on up here and where the heck are we? We want to go to type and drop that down and let's find it. Do, 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 do. Match font is what we're looking for. Click that button and now you'll notice that in the right box here that it is searching for fonts that are similar to this one. So I could click on American Typewriter and when I click on that, because we have the uh, typed layer selected, you can see what it looks like. So this one is, it's got the, the bottom piece here. It looks pretty close, but the top of the Q has a, has, I think that's called a ligature, and it's kind of pointed out to the right. And the H, the H is close. Actually, this is very, very close. But again, if you look at the J, the J has a little bit of a hook here, while this one's a bit straight. So let's try a different one. Let's try Courier Oblique. Let's take a look. Okay, this one is very, very close. This might even actually be the winner if I just look at it a little carefully here. Um, so yeah, I think this one's the winner, guys. I mean, this one, or let's try Courier Regular. Oh, Courier Regular is good. Courier Oblique has a has a, uh, has a forward uh, slant to it where Courier Regular is, is upright. So maybe it's Courier Regular. But when you look at it, you'll see that, okay, the, the J, you know, this is a straight piece and it cooks in. The H's have the two little uh, <laughs> feet on the H, including the left hand. So this is the one, guys. We've got a winner here. Pretty quick, pretty easy. But this, this is awesome for those of you that get all this, that get images or you download an image and you don't know what the hell font they're using. Using match font like this and just doing it like this, guys, you can pretty quickly find out what font it is. Do keep in mind that it only um, looks at your installed fonts and it looks at Typekit fonts. So sometimes you either have to install a new font from Typekit or you may not have the font installed and in that case you got to go to a website and upload it and it'll do an image match. But this works in most cases guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back more with some more stuff shortly. Thanks for watching.